Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today, we have the man, the myth, the legend, the daddy. The da- daddy. No. <laughs> say, say father. The, fa- the father. The father. The father. father. Okay. We have Manny. Now, the, Manny! The, 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 the father makes you sound like some sort of mob boss, you know? I which, saw which, it. Which you could be. I saw you it as a wrestler. See how I'm sitting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the, you're the, you're the done. Yo. <laughs> I saw it as a wrestler for some reason when you said the father. Really? Like, wrestle. Yeah. Wrestle. You'd be yeah. like, you know, you come out with, you know, in one of the, the monk outfits and then you rip it off and you're in like one of the, this is almost, this is turning weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, 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 I was trying to turn it into a wrestling, not like some erotic film. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Anyway, I've not seen you in ages. Yeah, I haven't seen Neither you in so long. I haven't seen you in a long time. No, I, I feel bad, but this is going to happen a lot it's more. It's a two way, it's a two way thing. Yeah. So you don't have to feel COVID, bad. COVID, COVID. Exactly. Yeah. COVID. Uh, it's a two way thing. So you don't have to feel bad because it's yeah. also me. Yeah. So I should feel bad as well. Mm. We should hang out more. We should, but you're a dad now. I know. You're a soon to be. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm just estimating. Oh what? no, Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> He's been married for time. Yeah, yeah. You're next. I am. That's right. <laughs> Do it quick so we can like, at least like one year, two years. Yeah, yeah, Play it's dates, good, man, it's you know good. I, mean? I, I, I don't know, I'm excited. Laura's just getting like so mad. Every, every day now. Just wants kid. She's just like, oh, come on baby, yeah. <laughs> every day, it's mad. <laughs> I feel actually, like I had the same experience, to be honest. I actually can't believe that you're dead. It is crazy. I know it's, 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 it's mad. It just, life comes at you fast. I feel like I did, I've always wanted it, but never seen it coming. Mm. You feel like, you know, you feel like you're not going to meet someone, whatever. I thought I'd be single and just die. <laughs> like alone, alone, <laughs> not, not on a D way. Where's, like, where's the invitation? No, I just I'd thought I'd be single, single and just die. <laughs> because like, you need to be compatible with the people that you're meeting and to get mm. to that stage where you go, this is the pe- person I want to be with for the rest of my life, then you need to hit that stage. It's not easy, especially in the social media world. That's mm. true. And that, that can be, true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess you just, you just know, don't you? That's why like, it can come fast because you don't know until you know. Yeah, because yeah. I, you know? <laughs> I, I found myself, <laughs> I found myself just like doing stuff and saying stuff that I wouldn't say with anyone else. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Except you, me. Yeah, yeah. Except Let's not talk about it. Keep this one clean. Also. You know, we talked about the other day, we were talking about top five people. Yeah. Manny's in mine, I think. Sick. Aww. But like, you're not in his. You're one of, the, you're one of those people <laughs> that fades fades away for a bit. Like, you, we don't talk for a little bit. Mm. And then the second I see a message, I'm like, Oh, Man is sick. That is when you know your best friends, like, you know, like when like when you don't have to talk every day. Yeah. You're still like when, when you meet up, you're still. Yeah, still but that's same. that's what it is because life happens. You're on doing your own thing. You're doing your own thing. I'm yeah. doing my own thing. Like people get busy as well. I've never been that kind of guy to get offended when people are like, oh, sorry, I can't make it to this. Like you got your own thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. That's why. I, yeah, if people don't reply to a message as well, mm. John, I get. I I literally. It's fair enough. You're I probably mean, doing I mean, something. I didn't mean, text yeah. John to be fair. It's a waste of time. And he gets really angry if I don't reply to him. He's like you could have checked your phone. And I'm like, bro, I got stuff. You, <laughs> you know? see last week on the podcast, one of the top comments was we should, we should, we should get uh, John a mic. We definitely shouldn't. We definitely shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. I, might, I might delete that comment. If you didn't know, by the way, John's a horrible human being. <laughs> I mean, I've met John a few times and... Um, Has he ever been kind to you? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Nah, John, 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 put, John put the gun down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But what's, what's, it, what's, it, what's it been like? Do you know what, like, it's just, it doesn't feel real. I feel like I'm living Still, in a simulation. So I'm yeah. looking at this kid and I know a lot of people like on the comments when I posted the picture, that baby not yours, that baby too white. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, who's going to tell him? I was creasing, but I was kind of like, <laughs> chill. Like, that's actually also insulting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but like, literally just looking and seeing him, I just think, what, like, this is a life. And some days when I'm tired, I think, I'm responsible for you. Like, stop crying. Sure. <laughs> like I have to be responsible for you f- for you for the rest of my life, and that is, I think, the mad thing. And I feel like I almost got down in a way because I was like, "That's scary. That's a lot yeah. of pressure, a lot of responsibility." Yeah, yeah, but I feel like I'm, I'm capable of being a good father. Dang, no, it's how I said father. Yeah, uh, yeah, not daddy. I clocked. Not, I clocked. Not daddy. <laughs> daddy sounds cringe. It's been ruined. Yeah, that word's been ruined over the last ten <laughs> yeah. years. So the worst thing about it, I see on your Insta story all the time, is the TV shows. Yeah, do you know what? You've because sometimes oh, I want no, to watch like stuff. Dancing Vegetables. Yeah, Dancing Vegetables. And oh, stuff. yeah, it's, I did see this. Yeah, yeah. It's cool for two minutes and then it's like, okay, chill. But he's just there like... And I'm like <laughs> it's like bro. brainwashing, isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. These characters. Do you know what? A uh, funny thing, actually. I was trying to get him to laugh and like react because babies, they're just like... 
trying to calibrate and yeah. stuff and <laughs> understand the world. I was trying to get them to laugh. Try and try and nothing works. I start brushing my teeth one morning. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> bro, really? <laughs> nah, but it's, it's, it's so surreal still. It's not do, sunken. Do, do you like, b- before the baby, do you have like uh, late nights? Do you, do you stay up late? Or yeah, do you have like all a the time. schedule? I've, okay. So my, that's, that's what I was like. You play Warzone until like... Play Warzone late, play almost. games late. But yeah. do you know what? It's also Alex's fault. She blames me when he's not sleeping at night. I say, <laughs> no, when I go to stream and do whatever, no one tells you to stay up and wait for me go to bed yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know like it's just all over the place i don't know if he's gonna get a routine and if he doesn't i apologize well that's what i feel like i'm always like people are, people say you obviously you don't have much sleep when you have a baby but i'm always like i never sleep anyway i'm always up late so i'm, I'm thinking i'm just making music and then no, like it's, no it's a, it's a different sort of thing is it is it sorry for the beads it's just <laughs> it's a different sort of thing honestly like when you want to sleep they right. most likely don't want you to sleep they, they, they find us at the time so put them down and just say <laughs> and it's just <laughs> everything flaring flavor and everywhere and i'm just thinking like bro i'm tired now i've streamed for four or five hours i just want to go to bed but you can't because you have to make sure that yeah it's okay yeah, yeah. at every moment have you said his name online yes okay yes so you can yeah you know, okay i can say his name okay Malachi. Okay. Emmanuel I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be <laughs> like to. I didn't want to yeah. be like the podcast is the first place you said, no, 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 <laughs> said no, his name every, <laughs> everyone wanted me to name him Bolingoli Jr I said guys <laughs> there's a series this is where YouTube and life <laughs> separate okay <laughs> but um, nah I feel like I really like the name it's, uh, yeah it's nice yeah when I'm really ignorant with this stuff okay when does a baby say their first word normally like rough I have no idea. I have no idea either. But he's doing stuff early. Like he's trying to stand up and stuff. I'm thinking, yo, like, don't be some relax. mutant cobra baby. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, like, relax. Starts like, flying. Yeah, like, he's, he's growing rapidly. He was chugging down milk and he's weighing like, like, I was thinking, bro, like, I know I want my child to be taller than me, but I'm saying, I don't want to do that. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not, yeah, not that much taller. He's growing so quick. It's scary. What, if, if you could choose what his first words or word is, what would it be? Oh, definitely not FIFA. Everyone keeps on going, I bet he's going to say FIFA is his first word. <laughs> no, guys. You two <laughs> <point>. like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, probably a- just dad. dad. Father. Dad. What would you choose? It's Papa. Uh, <laughs> Papa. <laughs> I don't even know. He'll be like, he'll be like, like X grading. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, say X grading now. <laughs> you know, because you, know, you said that, right? It's going to be mum. That's going to be the first word. Oh, no. Because you said that. Yeah, I know. I feel like he's going to be a mummy's boy, mm. but he's going to want stuff from me. Yeah, like, yeah, nah, yeah. Go yeah. to your mum. Yeah. <laughs> See what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it, is it going to be a Project Mbappe? Is it still Project Mbappe? He missed. Oh, True. It, it's true, isn't it? Like, is that still the name? Project Bolingoli. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Yeah? Is it happening? Yeah, but do you know what? Like, I feel like I want to learn from my parents as well. Like, your parents always want well for you, but like, I don't think forcing them into sign is good. You invite me over. You have over. to let them enjoy it. Invite me over and I'll be the, the mean, I'll be the mean football coach. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. By yeah. me. But I guess you can, you can like, um, you can put them on that path and then if they don't yeah, want to yeah, do yeah, it, then course, they can figure it out. Think but... The thing is with a lot of people growing up these days, they don't have a direction that they're going towards. They don't have something mm. to distract them. And that's why some people do get into trouble. Yeah. So I think putting them to hobbies and something yeah. to distract them, even if it is badminton, like I may not be, I may not, I may not come to the games, that? but you know, it could, be, it could be a Olympic nah, medal. Yeah, yeah, never know. Like, don't want him to, you know. If it's curling, like I won't come to watch. But <laughs> curling would be dope too. Curling, I'd love dope. To watch that, yeah, I mean, him and being standing, like yes, <laughs> oh yeah, every time. <laughs> but come on, yeah, no, nah. I definitely would want him to play football, but I would protect him from the things that I experienced that I didn't enjoy. Mm. You know, you know what I'm talking about. All that. You're not, he's not getting benched. We are gonna yeah. we're gonna butt heads, Gaffer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my son. <laughs> that's, that's when you got to become the coach. You know that happened to me one time. My dad was so unhappy with like um, my team when I was younger. They just benched me, and like parents would come up to me, "Why isn't Manny starting?" Why they couldn't give an answer. And my dad one time just dragged me during the game. He's like, "Nope, we're going." Oh, He's man. like, "I'm not going. We're not coming back we're here." Like, dad, team. why'd you do that? <laughs> yeah. You're playing all positions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Manny. no, that actually <laughs> happened. It's madness, mad. So I was going to ask something and I've forgotten what it was now. Um, thing for question. I, I had something. Does this make you want to have a kid? No. <laughs> <laughs> not like the way you, eventually, yes, but not right now. Yeah, but I think the not right now thing, because I said, I oh, won't well, in two years and here we are. It's not two years, probably about, <laughs> yeah, we're two yeah. years ahead of schedule, basically. Yeah. Um, 
but I don't think you're ever going to be ready for it. I don't think in terms of financials and this, that like you just adjust. Yeah, yeah you do. You do. That's do. the thing. You're not going to be like, oh, in two years, I'm going to be ready for it. But you might maybe be more prepared a little bit, but not I ready. I think for me, it's purely because Sidemen takes up so much time. And right now we're actually adding to it. Like we're actually like, yeah, we're going to do some, we're doing another thing. Yeah. And another thing I'm like, once those have settled, then maybe. But that's never going to settle. Yeah, you are the sidemen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what, that's like, there's so doing. many things we, that I want to like, do. Not yet, not yet. It's not ready yet. But like, mm. as you said, you have to just kind of like, you, you, you adapt. Yeah. You will adapt. It's, it's, it's not going anywhere. Like I haven't got less busy. I just had to adjust. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, like, oh, I'll have a kid once the sidemen are done. That's, I mean, that's Talia, how, like, that's Talia, how I'm, I'm trying for you. I am trying. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, I mean, sorry. You're trying to get me to have a kid. <laughs> I need father friends. You need friends to come over and play cribbage with. What's that? That's a card game. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It's an old though. people play. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an old people game. Yeah. What, how'd you play that? With good work, like, it's like, like cards. cards. Yeah, it's like playing cards and then you have a little board and you move the pieces depending on the hands. And sounds it's, awful. It sounds absolutely it's awful. A, it's an old people game. It's actually quite fun. That's the, that doesn't sound fun <laughs> in the slightest, but you know. Blackjack. Each their own. That's a better game. E Snap. Do you know what is a really good game? <laughs> Dominoes. It's elite. How do you play that again? You have to match the number up, right? So yeah, you've got yeah. four there and I have to match four. Yeah. Okay. But there's obviously two numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. can put either one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually when I get Dominoes, I just do like the... Uh, you know, just flick them and they fall down together. Get a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I thought he was going with it. Thank so, you. Nah, it's probably should have been wasted. Yeah, yeah, normally when I get Domino's, I have this. Rewind it, rewind it. Yeah, like Domino's. Uh, like the pizza. So moving on. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't feel like, you, you know, we don't want to talk about Malachi all day. We yeah. could. <laughs> we could. Yeah, we, but I feel like you probably talk about it nonstop. Yeah. And you're like, I want to talk about something else for once. Yeah, go into my stream. How's being a dad? <laughs> yeah, like, How's your I son? Assume it is that right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've answered it five times today already. Because yeah. the internet up. does normally find one thing and then just stick Say on that the whole time. So it is a massive thing, though. Isn't it? Like, it's the it first is thing, huge. Like, in the, in but this is no like, one saw it coming. I mean, I did when you told me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I knew, like I was so skeptical. I was like, "Do we put this out there? If I don't, if I'm out shopping, that's what I was gonna ask." Oh, okay, that? how do you feel about like family vlogging channels and like? You know, I think it's cool if that's what you want to do, but for me, I don't want to put my family in that direction because I think, like you know, with YouTube, when you start to do, you start something for fun initially when you have to do it every day and you have that obligation yeah. it's not no longer I fun okay okay out. change change from family vlogging channel to involving your family in stuff so it's not it's still yours so say your main channel say yeah. you start doing more like challenges and stuff yeah. like that and you might do like um nick 28t i remember he did a vlog where he literally just took his son ethan mm. like toy shopping mm. and it's like the channel is still him and fifa mm. but he did that one vlog mm. as like a one-off I, I don't know i think for me the more you expose them the more you're dragging them into the world that i've been used to for years do you know what i mean but like i don't know i i don't really talk to people about this a lot but generally like sometimes i just don't want to go out because i don't want to have to deal with eyes on me or people just coming up no, to I me all that. the time and some people go oh that's sick like people come up to you but some days you just don't feel like yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. And like say, Alex might want to go out and stuff like that, but I just kind of be like, if I'm with my family, I'm with Alex, like I want to kind of be left alone mm. and just enjoy those moments because I'm already what you want me to be, whatever, yeah. online. Like when I get to real life, be respectful and give me my sort of space. Um, so sometimes I just don't want to go out and stuff. So I feel like, some, is it fair to do that to them? Yeah, no, I get just that. just let them like be more accessible to everyone? Because there's obviously like, well, loads of people do it where you know they'll put their kid in a video or two mm. but it's not I don't I wouldn't say like base it around them the one yeah. thing I'm definitely going to do though is film everything my kid does oh, yeah. not to put online yeah 
but to then give Document to them. It. Yeah, yeah. No, and to give them that. when they're older. Now, yeah. it's so much fun like watching back like old family videos with yeah. your family. But then one thing I always hate is like, oh, dad, why did you not continue filming? They always yeah, stop yeah, the worst yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, look at this two minute clip. I'm like, nah, make it like 10. I think that's why we are definitely blessed in this generation because our parents were taking like, you know those pictures and yeah, the camcorders where it's like all grainy, you can see half your face, half a lit. Whereas now it's just easy, isn't it? So easy. Probably like, too much now. Like when, when in like twenty years, like he's probably gonna like dad, I'm bored, man. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, see that like, this time. Because like football. Chris MD had his. I know this is a very minor position to be in, but Chris has all his Sunday league games from when he was a kid nice. or something like that. That's something that eats me up because so I used nothing. to tear it up. And like it was on video cassettes and stuff, but yeah. back in those days, you run out of tape, you record something yeah, over, over so, it. <laughs> yeah. it's gone. I don't know where it's gone, and I just feel like I wish I could have shown that to my son. But I still have like Sunday league thing, but I'm not as good as I was back then. Yeah, you don't see that. You don't have like your prime. Yeah, I don't have oh, yeah. my prime. I was like. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. We have old family videos, right? Where it's just us, and then it cuts onto like Top of the Pops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Like, mom, why did you choose saying. that instead? Like, I can't believe but that. Stuff like that, like watching a video and it turns to England Paraguay. <laughs> 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 like, why'd you record that game anyway? <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's one thing I need to definitely make sure. Yeah, like what? Well, that's if they're you know leaning towards football. Yeah, obviously. I think it's very good to like <laughs> if they're trash. Document. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm just cut the camera. <laughs> I'm just of the opinion that you you don't have to post everything and show everyone everything. And I feel like when you do family vlogging channels and stuff, the more you show, the more they want to know. They never get enough. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? Like even when I announce the baby, everyone's like, "What's his name? What's his name? How do you know I picked a name yet?" You know mm. Like chill. Like mm. give me some time. Were well, you tempted to troll with a name? Like what? No, you because when be you, like, when you do that, him, people stick with it. Sticks. It's true. Yeah, it's true. true. To stay. We've called him baby. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, I guess it's, it's tough as well. At least you show the show the kid as well. Because sometimes if you don't show anything, yeah, that's then it what can I didn't want to avoid because they wanna yeah. In the find out what more. does this guy look like? So you give, give him a little bit, but not enough. Yeah, not too yeah, much yeah. To yeah. I don't think they, they need to see him every day and stuff. Yeah, like, I feel like I can post him, but. Yeah. This podcast is sponsored by ExpressVPN. And obviously, as we all are, we're very online people, not even just us, but yourself as well. You're probably playing games, probably on you know Twitter, Instagram. It's very important to make sure that what we do online is secure and it's private and it's not public for all these companies to sell. Yeah, so we all take little risks every day when we go online, whether we think about it or not. We think our connection probably won't be interrupted by hackers. Our data probably won't be used against us. But using the internet without ExpressVPN... It's like driving without car insurance. Why would you take that risk? That's me skidding on my car. You didn't Every even, you time didn't even do skirt, you did err. No, 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 I, I did actual. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, cafes, hotels, airports, any hacker on the same network can gain access to your personal data, whether it's your passwords, financial details, etc. It doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack someone, just some cheap hardware. A smart 12-year-old could do it. Or John. And your data is valuable. Hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal information on the dark web. Yeah, that was actually a compliment, by the way. It was. You're smarter than a 12-year-old. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, ExpressVPN acts as an online insurance. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so hackers can't steal your personal data. It'd take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. So, John, never. Yep. And ExpressVPN is simple to use on all your devices. Just fire up the app and click one button to get protected. That's my favorite part, you know. It's literally just one It's actually, click. like, really easy. Like, yep. I literally just, look, it's already there for me. Yep. Bam. And it's done. And you're protected. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash what's good. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash what's good. And you can get an extra three months free. Yeah, so go to expressvpn.com slash what's good to get an extra three months free. Link in the description. Click that and back to the podcast. So now you're streaming more on Twitch. Yeah. How is that all going? It's good. We're you're enjoying it. Yeah, I, I enjoy streaming. I feel like YouTube got to the point where it's tedious in terms of recording, edit, record, edit, record, yeah. edit. That was all it was. But I feel like Twitch has given me a new lease of life in terms of just trying to enjoy games again. And most of the time, I don't care what viewers I get or whatever. Like, mm. I'll stream with the boys and just have a laugh. That's it, yeah. Because it makes it less work and more fun. Yeah. So that's why when people come to my stream, why aren't you streaming FIFA? I say, because I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> And they're asking that For in now. August as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you FIFA? 22, you catch me. Mm-mm. You, you're a, a big point spender on FIFA. 
How much did you do the last one? <laughs> listen, bro. You did like a million is, points. This is, this is when people see it from, that's, that's the weird angle to see it from. I mean, I know I see it as an investment. I, I mean, I spend, a, I spend lots on yeah, points. Yeah. Yeah. But you do it in one go that lasts you FIFA. I do it in one go because that's, that's what the people want to see. <laughs> they want to see that When the people number. go rah, like, I'm not even going to show the number this year because I just, I feel like all those articles and people trying to drag me into out, saying yeah. that, like, yeah. I'm encouraging gambling. I literally say in every pack opening, do not spend your money on packs. Look at what I'm doing. Yeah, but that, that, yeah. So if that's the side of it as well, like you are doing it so people don't have to at the same time. Yeah, like it is, it is, it is a good valid point as well. Because that's what Josh we grew got up put on. in. A, Josh got put in an article about it. Yeah, I saw and it, it was literally like how he was, uh, like endorsing it. Yeah, endorsing gambling. Yeah, and they literally used a clip where he's saying like, "Yeah, don't do this. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing this, so you don't have to." And obviously, yeah, and it's our job. It's, it's, it's a weird thing because I don't want it to be like, oh, EA think, oh, you're telling people not to spend money on their game. But I just know that a lot of people out there spend money on what they shouldn't really spend money on or can't afford to yeah. spend money on. When you look at it, £15 pounds for a 125k pack, it's is what madness. it works out. Something, something like, like 15 so or 20 pounds. Yeah. Like for for a pack where you can get an 83 as your best player. Yeah, yeah. And obviously you, you guys are filming it for content as well. So there's always that there. Like you yeah. are you are recuping it, you're doing it mm. for this. Whereas yeah. when I open a pack and I'm not doing it for anything, I feel so bad. I'm like, why yeah. have I just done that? Yeah. It's like, it's just such a waste of money. Like you need a shower. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And that's why it's good at it, G. Like you, you load the points in one go. Because yeah. the worst part is when you buy points, right? And it runs out and you're like, oh, I've got to get more. <laughs> especially, <laughs> yeah. especially how it works out. as like, so a 125K pack is two and a half thousand points. Right. But you get, you, the most you can buy is 12,000. Okay. So mm. you open four and you're left with 2,000 points. And yeah, you're like, they do that they do on, on purpose. purpose. Yeah, so I hate like, that. I'll just load up again. Yeah. <laughs> now I've got, you know, this many left. And you oh. open the menu and you're like, oh, I only need like 100 more points, but you know you're going to go to the max. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They got you, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't even know if I'm going to do another series. Are you man. not? Like I most I likely just will. just play whatever. I'll run out of I'll run out of content otherwise. But. Make a I've, I've heard they're doing a career mode where you can create a club and start from non league or something. Oh, so, so something like that. Anyway, well, I'm definitely going to do more Big Brother clubs. Yeah, that's another series. Is I want that to an do. invite or you were in the you spot? were in one of the series already? I've been in two. You were in the very original one, right? Yeah, that one never really finished, so okay. I don't I don't count that one. Okay, but then you were in the first series. And then there's second series just finished. We still got to do the thing where we play first season one versus season two, man. I wanted to do that, but, but I could barely organize this one series. That was yeah. nine YouTubers trying to get nine other YouTubers. Yeah. Try they and play each get other. Those who want to, be, want to play, play. Like just say like anyone who wants to join, join. If not, then don't. It's just not going to happen, is it? Like that's a lot. I reckon we, we would win though. Season two would, would beat season one for sure. There's no way season two is beating season one. What, what was um? I'm trying the to think. The Wizard. The Wizard. The Wizard. Yeah. The Wizard. It's actually. We, was a, we were a good team. We were a good team. We literally lost one game. Yeah. The whole series. Yeah, yeah. that's because the Dead Dons are playing now. <laughs> that was. That was like. That was like six weeks in or something like that. Yeah. And it was Chip's fault. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was so, all Chip. so, so it's Chip's fault. <laughs> to be fair, can we, if we do the season one versus season two, can we not invite Chip? <laughs> <laughs> He's there for a jolly off, isn't he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be fair, it was, it was very funny. I always brought the. Uh, oh, the yeah, yeah. To it. So, YouTube as well. You said it's getting a bit dry. Yeah, I think, you know, like we have conversations about this from time to time, but I've been doing a similar thing for ages. It works. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's not fun, just like anything. Mm. Um, but I feel like I have a new direction that I want to slowly take, my, not even take my channel in. I'll still do all the FIFA stuff if it's working, whatever, but I want to do different things that have more meaning and just like, like interviews that like, sort like, of stuff. Like bigger, bigger things. Bigger videos, bigger one-off videos. Cause I well, feel I like I used talking to, to you about that. You did one with a French footballer. French? Yes. Yeah. And I remember saying, I remember messaging you that day being like, that was, that sick. was sick. Yeah. And like, you should definitely do more. And yeah. you're like, yeah, I want to. And you almost had a, you had a footballer that you were li like lined up. Do you but... know what's so funny? And I know this is amazing that it's happened how it has. Obviously you saw the JJ stuff with Heskey and that. Remember mm -hmm. I told you I was planning to do a video That's where what I wanted I was to ask say. <laughs> Heskey about all the stuff with JJ and the song and how it affected him. I don't think we really touched on that. But when I saw the, I actually booked it. We were meant to film. The day before we meant to film, Heskey was like, oh, I thought it was in Manchester or wherever he lives. I was like, I've booked a place <laughs> in London. <laughs> this, that. So I scrapped it and I tried to hold on to the booking and stuff. But 
It's money wasted now, so thanks. Things that skip. video, that idea is still there. Still because there, yeah. the, the KSI, KSI show, show was yeah. a very like scripted yeah, it didn't really, thing. Yeah, didn't really. It didn't actually touch on the. Yeah, I, I, I would like to do it uh, if you're still down to do it, Husky. Maybe. I'm sure he, he, he doesn't watch his podcast. I'm sure he watches. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what was amazing? Yeah, I mean, was... someone send it to him. You know what I mean? That's true. Yo, send it, send it to Husky, guys. You know, even amazing? like you. This was this is yeah, the best yeah, yeah. thing. <laughs> JJ's album thing. There's one bit. Heskey was there, mm. and he sat he sat on this table against the wall. And I talked to Randolph, and I literally clock. I'm like, Randolph is here in front of me. Heskey's there. I'm like, <laughs> Randolph, the the creator of Heskey Time, is a yard away from Heskey, and <laughs> well, you, like you kept saying get a photo, didn't you? But I was like, he definitely ain't gonna know who I am, and if he does, he'll definitely hate me. Um, but then oh, he, but I he meant it as a fan. Yeah, so he said you should go up to him. Like, oh, just can I get a picture as a fan? And then that picture would have obviously like banged online. But do you know what's mad though? With that, like when we were doing the Wembley Cup, where JJ was on my team, Hesky was on my team. Yeah, I, he walked in to the dressing room, shaking everyone's hands, and he went past JJ. He's like, "Not you." Then, oh. he, went, then he went back to him. He's like, "Nah, I'm joking." That's like, like, okay. Proper call cool of everything, and I think it takes a big man to do that because a lot is, of people yeah. would have held a grudge because what happened literally brainwashed everyone to think did. that yeah. Heskey was actually yeah. a bad player, but he actually was a really good oh, player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really good hold up striker and he got yeah. a couple goals as well. So it's, it's it crazy. A lot. It, it, that happens a lot. Like someone has a bad game and the memes go on and then they, they're forever like set as like yeah. a bad player. But, but it's even FIFA. Yeah. Like yes. you don't even have to create a meme around someone. Like for example, I think Lewandowski, someone like that. Yeah. He's rated so highly, yeah. but I think he's underrated so much because no one can use him in FIFA because he's too slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah ultimately, that's... you look at them and you just go, okay, who's good on FIFA? Yeah, and that's that's your that is the better players yeah. in the world, yeah. and it doesn't matter because it's it's completely to the matter of how the game is. Yeah, if you're fast and strong, you're the best player in the world. Yeah, exactly that. Like Adama Traore, I think his hype was like fifty percent due to FIFA, fifty yeah. percent due to he scored a couple goals. Yeah. That's true. It's, it's crazy, but that's that's what it does. And it to be honest, a lot of what we've done and people coming in playing FIFA, we've influenced a lot of people and we haven't yeah. realised. Like the whole bowling golly thing. Yeah. Bro, I see that everywhere. It's crazy. Like, it's actually mad. I feel like it's almost like another Heskey situation. I think... I hope he doesn't mind yeah. me saying bowling golly because it's one of his names. Yeah. But yeah, if people but are now using that as the preference, I'm like, ooh. But like, you're also making... It, his brand bigger. Yeah, and in a good way. Yeah. Like you are literally saying like he's amazing. Yeah. You're not doing <laughs> what happened to Hesky. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hesky's was a little bit I bit think more it's sad. a positive <laughs> message as well. You can do a lot of things, but you can't stop the shine. It means nothing and it means something at the same time. Exactly. Mm. That was a bar. That was a bar. You yeah. should use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. See that? I'm getting better. Teaching yeah, just yeah. rapping stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this episode is also sponsored by HBO Max. Whether you're looking for a guilty pleasure reality show, serious drama, or want that new spin on a classic like Gossip Girl reboot, HBO Max is creating premium content that has a little something for everyone. Feed your fandom with Titan Season 3 Jeez. or the same day premiere of The Suicide Squad. Or catch up on the hottest, newest shows like Euphoria and Generation. Like, I've personally been watching a lot of Rick and Morty. So, uh... I mean, it's sick. Pickle Rick. Little uh, old, little old that, but still still counts. Yeah, and of course, I can't wait to watch The Suicide Squad and Space Jam, A New Legacy, when they come out in theatres and on HBO Max. Only available on the $14.99 per month ad-free plan and will be streaming for a limited time. HBO Max has everything you love all in one place. Plus, you can download top titles to watch on your devices on the go. Stream all your favorites and find some new ones too. Sign up today by going to hbom.ax slash what's good. Stream all your favorites. That's hbom.ax slash what's good. Yes, yeah, so a link in the description down below. hbom.ax slash what's good. Bow. Back to the podcast. Well, you also have music. Mm. Um... I don't know what you've announced. Yeah, I don't I, know what's been said. Toby, can I? <laughs> <laughs> when we do podcasts with people who've got a lot going on, it's always annoying because we like, we know stuff, but we, we don't know what's, yeah. what's allowed to be said and also what hasn't been said. But yeah, um, we've been working. Obviously, it's been hard alongside everything. Yeah, like, yeah. Having to drive hour and a half there, this, that, back and forth. But we've got some stuff. Hopefully, releasing something soon. Jeez. I'm not going to say how soon, but hopefully soon. How many yeah. songs do you reckon you have? Like. Ready, done. Yeah, not not hundred percent. Just like pretty much there. Yeah. I don't know if, I wanna, if we're gonna say this one. Okay, let me just say more than three. Okay. No. Damn. Okay. 
Because Toby did that stream, didn't he, on, t- on Twitch? Where mm. he was like playing a lot of stuff in the background. And some yeah. stuff was standing. Well, he did one as well where you two were actually in the studio. Yeah. Mm, that's what I mean. He made a... Oh, I thought he... He did one the other day where he was playing beats that you two had done stuff on, but he yeah, wasn't. Okay. Oh, stuff. Yeah, no, I was yeah. the one where he's in the studio. Yeah. yeah. And you did one with a... Uh, is the Naruto. Yeah, yeah. The Naruto beat. Yeah, but mm. we haven't done anything to that one. That's a hard beat to that. Like, was, I literally texted him like, sick. this is sick. <laughs> yeah. I was literally getting gassed. They made it like, right there. Like, it was like, <laughs> turn no, off the tap. Bad. Yeah. Now nah, keep that running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just bare waffle. But no, the music stuff is like, it's almost another escape, but it's also hard because with Destined for Greatness, none of us expected it to do that well. I was going to ask you, you like, how, like, sure, that wasn't what you thought originally. You thought, like, it's, it's track we're going to do, it's, it's something cool, but not like, not, it blew up like mad. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's weird because Toby's always like, yeah, let's do the music, let's do the music, do the music. Like, because yeah. he likes music a lot, he's always yeah. like music. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, nah, man, I'm not talented in that stuff. I don't like that. I don't like doing stuff. I'm not good at sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. And, um, Why do you play football? Huh? <laughs> okay. I don't know, Sorry. to be honest. Sorry. It was there. <laughs> Matt goes to walking football with Barclays. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no yeah like he's been pushing on me to do music 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 and then he's like come studio so we went studio one time um playing some beats playing some beats i was like i like this one mm. i like this one then we just done it like two three hours just wrote and this that like listened changed stuff this that yeah and it was, it was it's a therapeutic experience like just to go in there just even listening to instrumentals it makes you think like everything going in your life and then Put that into a song, yeah. But I think it came out to be a lot better than we thought it'd be. I said when we were dropping, I was like, I might do a mil views. That's what I said to Toby. Nah, what was it on now? Something like twenty one mil. Something like that. It's it's almost on that on streams. I swear. Something like twenty eight mil streams. streams More than that. In your quiz, didn't we? Yeah, that's mental. Like that is mad. It's crazy, and it's like literally we dropped it midnight, seventh of Feb. And it's funny because actually what happened, it's a funny story. That's what I like about podcasts. You can let a little bit out. Yeah. Just yeah. That people <laughs> yeah, wouldn't yeah. really know. Um, but Destined for Greatness was dropping. Uh, it was like two minutes to midnight. And Toby was like, Manny, come, let's go do Insta Live. This, that, that. Like, so we go to the front room to do an Insta Live saying it's dropping. Go check out the tune, this, that. And um, Toby goes to me. He's like, yeah, like, I think this should do all right. I was caught up in it. Go back to talked to my girlfriend now fiance and uh she went to me she was just staring at me i was like what are you staring at me for like aren't you happy songs just dropped it's like oh crap it's your birthday <laughs> <laughs> I, I had was no like, idea where that was going i was like i was like i'm so sorry toby dragged me into this she was like nah it's fine in the end she's a bit annoyed but i was like i get and i don't i didn't do it intentionally <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's actually <laughs> funny we, yeah we dropped it on her birthday that's just that's true. just happened to be that and um yeah like, so what I'm, do you celebrate now on on that day do you celebrate your song or do you celebrate her birthday yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, of course of course, <laughs> of course celebrate her birthday um but yeah now that happened and we dropped the song i went to the cinema the next day i promise you it'd been like maybe 12 hours no more than 12 hours less than 24 hours anyway I was, yo, I heard the song, sick thing. That I'm uh, thinking, bro, like the song just dropped. Yeah. And walking through Westfield, sometimes be hearing it. I'm like, what? Hearing it on the radio, people sick. tweeting it to me. Everyone, like, concierge downstairs was like, hey, that song you did was sick. The message was so positive. Like, just. That must have given you so much confidence though, to do more, right? Surely. Yes and no, because I was kind of like, one of my, and I'm out. Okay. It's not really like. I feel that. But, nah, like I'm saying, because that did well, there's now pressure to. Yeah, perform yeah. again always, always is, hard yeah. to but I don't up. want that sort of thing so I'm gonna always remind people when you're cussing how I sound on the song remember it's not my first thing yeah mm. it's like my tenth mm-hmm. so allow me yeah <laughs> and then furthermore I probably don't care because I told you already like so would you expect Manny doesn't sound like this on the thing Manny sounds too basic yes because it's not my thing yeah <laughs> I just do it because yeah, it's yeah if fun. it's still bigger than whatever they've done <laughs> yeah so yeah. I feel like Toby is like always gonna veer towards music now like i feel like because he doesn't upload as much as he did Mm -hmm. i feel like he's gonna slowly obviously sidemen as well but he's gonna slowly veer towards music because he's always he seems to always whenever i ask him what you're doing he's always like oh i think we're in studio I'm going to studio, I'm going to studio. Or yeah, doing but something like I said, clear. it's also a detox. So if he's going through sign call, he's feeling some type of way, I'm sure he'll go to the studio, he listen to beats and this, that, but like, I can 
stop saying this that <laughs> you know I mean? um but um yeah no it's just he's not even said like oh yeah i want to do bare music and stuff like that but yeah he just genuinely enjoys it and i yeah, feel like when you've been doing youtube and stuff for a while sometimes you do want to find that new thing to distract you from that also, you guys do a lot of shoots. Sometimes I think, yeah, that's long. People go, why are you going to be in the side? And I say, because I'm not waking up every day to go <laughs> and jump in water that I can't swim in. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you guys do a lot for sure. Yeah, you guys do a lot. And I just, big up yourselves, man. Still inspiring. You guys are part of the reason why I still work very hard. Mm. Just going to say that. Not even to be a beg in that. Like what they do and like is groundbreaking. So now because they, they, they keep breaking records as well because you get to a point where it's like all right, I'm in a good spot now and then they go do something you're like oh I gotta work harder <laughs> yeah it's partly because of them as well that I can't sit down and eat mm. because I've been in their videos sometimes I think man you're not even that big time why do people come up, come up to you I think oh you've been in Simon's video <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah, yeah. that's why that's why Harry hates us Harry's literally just like look, you lot of you've given me money but at what cost <laughs> you've taken away all my freedom I can't go wakeboarding yeah. now. <laughs> No, oh, but man. like, yeah, it's sick. And that's some of the stuff that still pushes me. You know what I mean? And I, I like to try and transfer that energy to a lot of my friends. So I try and put them on in mm, anything. Because yeah. a lot of people do like jobs and stuff that they don't want to do. And sometimes I'll tweet about it saying like, if you're not doing what you do, want to do, try and find a way to do it. Yeah. And people go, oh, it's not that easy. You're a YouTuber. You just had it easy. And I was like, no, actually I dropped out of uni with mm. nothing to fall back on. Yeah. And I took a gamble and it's paid off. Yeah, and at that point as well, if anyone does try to use the like, oh, Toby was, you know, yeah. Toby was doing it, blah blah. At that point, when you dropped out, Toby wasn't like when I started. Toby wasn't big time. That's what I mean. Toby, Toby had like wasn't like six k uh, exactly. Subs. So mm-hmm. it wasn't a case of you know, oh, you you could have failed, kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you actually, yeah, yeah. you could have. It's but, true though. You got you got like make your own like destiny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you, you have like, to just go and go like go. Toby's for it. never the only thing that I'd say. Toby's really helped me with was when i first started he said this is how to edit cut cut this mm. blah, blah blah i'd check his stuff and sort of see how yeah. he did it and model it around it sometimes but i'd always have my own ideas always do my yeah, own stuff i mean stuff. but that's that's like that's just learning really that's, yeah. like, that's, that's, that's like the crafting that's like objective stuff so it's yeah, like yeah. stuff that you have to do whereas like your actual creation and you're like your goals is is you or it's yeah. always gonna be you yeah you know i think that people come ah, <laughs> toby made you and this that glad he did if he did <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be stuck in the office. Mm. But actually, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say where I am. But <laughs> 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 yeah, no. Nah. Um, I think it's a good thing. And even like we did a lot of videos together. But it's like I know you wouldn't do a video of someone that isn't authentic and doesn't feel normal to you. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. Like whenever you'd shout me or like, I'd be like, oh, let's do a video. It's not like oh, I want to do a video and get loads. Of, it was just. Yeah, it worked for both yeah, of us. Yeah, that's, like, that's not what it's like in the entire like UK scene, is what I feel like. No, no one ever thinks that it's like, uh, oh, can you do this for me? It's just like, let's all film. You know, yeah. like, we all do stuff together. That's what it like, used to be like. It people used really to collab yeah. like that. Right, no right. More. I don't feel like it is anymore. Like, like it, it still it, is. In certain you know, circles, then. It's like, like, for me and you, it still is, right? Yeah, but that's almost like, I mean, we don't film much together that's not this. This. Yeah, but true. this isn't mine or yours. This is ours. Yeah, yeah. but then if I did come to you, you'd be, you'd be like, yes, no matter what. Like, yeah. You know, and same vice versa. But like, I find it a rare thing when for example I was watching Calix's video today mm-hmm. and it's got Theo, Chip, Chris, Freezy and Lauren and I was like this is weird to see like this is almost see like a, a big video because no one you've does got, it anymore yeah you've got five other people in it yeah but in the old like back in old YouTube I could go yeah you want to do crossbow challenge cool yeah. there's no uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah we'll yeah. just go do you know and then woodwork yeah, you notice it actually as the years went on it went from nine to five mm. to three and it's just three of us kicking yeah. the ball at a goal yeah. aimlessly <laughs> just missing all the shots that's jokes you can, it's hard to like football videos now are impossible I want to do them but ugh, my feet can't hack the shooting on the Astro all the time I need yeah. like nice grass Astro just kills my ankles man but the videos just they they have to be like leveled up now they got to take a while like so I was filming one with Chris yesterday which I told you about that's uh, you know he's he's already done one shoot for it Mm. on his own then he's done yesterday's shoot with four of us and in that he also had uh, like a ball launcher drone yeah. operator yeah. Yeah. Levels going then up. he's got another he's got another day shoot for it and that's all being put into one mm. Mm. so it's like you can't just go do Kick about. woodwork challenge yeah. with three of us if you look at the views on that stuff back then it's <laughs> that's what I mean <laughs> I, I did 
two touch in the garden with my brother. 500k. I was yeah. like, <laughs> let me so, try that now. See if it gets five. One yeah. of Josh's, Josh's mo- one of his most viewed videos, I don't know if it is his most, is a volley crossbar challenge, I think it is. It's out of focus. And the uh, Wind, uh, ISO audio. or whatever it is, ah, okay, is yeah. set so high that you can't make out the crossbar. That's so jokes. And it's yeah. on like 10 mil. Yeah. But back then people, just, it was about the content of the video not the title or that's thumbnail. That's the thing, isn't Because you're saying now that like, the levels are going up and you have to do all these extra things. Whereas what people were drawn to in the old videos was just like everyone chilling, like playing football together. Yeah. So like, if you did it now, you might think like, I know you got to raise the levels, but what, what they really enjoyed is just like the... Well, that's why the charity matches did yeah. so well as well. Because people are like, oh, favourite creators all in the same place, playing football. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. This podcast is also sponsored by Skillshare. The online learning community is offering our listeners a free trial of premium membership. Witness your own transformation as you turn small steps into giant leaps with Skillshare's online classes. There are so many fascinating classes on Skillshare on topics, including... You can find like graphic design, you can find thumbnail creation, you can find editing, you can find how to use a camera. So maybe you can come take over John's job, which would be great. Yeah, honestly, we'll pay you whatever you want. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Randolph actually took a class. Yeah, so I've recently, obviously you guys know Ace Grading, we launched that. We're doing something called the Ace Labels, where it's like a, it's like a custom label. I want to actually do my own Ace Label for, for, the, for the card. So I've been using um, Jaron Vogel's Digital Illustrator course, so you can learn to use Procreate on the iPad. Laura uses it actually, so she can give me some tips as well. I need to take a class on DJing. I literally have a DJ set sat in my room. Yeah, you do. You need, need to, do, to that. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with Skillshare, practice makes progress. Advancing towards a goal is achievable with short lessons, hands-on projects, and classes designed for real life. Do something today you couldn't do yesterday. Skillshare helps you move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. Their short classes are a perfect fit for your busy routine. You'll create real projects and get the support of fellow creators so you can accomplish real growth. Explore your creativity at Skillshare.com slash what's good where our listeners get a free trial of premium membership. Jeez. That's two weeks free at Skillshare.com slash what's good. Jeez. Yeah, so go to Skillshare.com slash what's good to get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. Boom, let's go. I'm back to the podcast. Podcast. Is the reason talking to football? You didn't play in Clash Creators. Um, I feel like I mean, early in the year I got shouted for it. Yeah, but I was kind of like I knew I was expecting a kid, so I was kind of like I'm not committing to anything. Yeah, and I I missed out on a lot of work in the build up to that because I was like not committing to it. And even if the money was good, not committing to it. I like I just didn't know when or where. Like I was supposed to go to Champions League semi final and final, couldn't mm. go. You know, because it's just too close, and I was like, "I am not missing the birth of my child." Yeah, for a brand yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah I, ended crazy, I didn't. I I caught like maybe ten minutes of it here and there. It uh, seemed decent. Like it seemed like it went pretty yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So it was kind of a a good test to see how much people wanted to see a charity match. Yeah, they yeah. Did. but they did a different style. I don't know if you saw the. Yeah, it's like loads of teams. Just it was four teams, and it was a twenty minute half. These two played, then these two played, and the winners played in the final. That was it. But the losers also had a penalty shootout to get third or fourth. Oh, that's pretty sick. That was, yeah. But I know a few people were kind of like, oh, you guys should incorporate that. Yeah. No, that works well. I, mean, I don't does. know because people, a lot of people don't like change. It's yeah. where people you see in one match, people are like, uh. Well, I think mm-hmm. that's. I think they want more though as well. Like one, all the build up for one match, is, and I know like the World Cup and stuff. You still have one match to the final, but you do have the, the, the like the build up of the group stage and everything. So they having like the tournament kind of like aspect to it really helps a lot. It also makes it exciting as well because you don't know what's going to happen. Whereas like yeah. say you did a, a, mm-hmm. a like a ninety minutes, it's so much, so much build up, and then when it's done, it's done. Whereas like, but do you know what? I think the waiting around and stuff is where it kills it for me. Yeah, I can't. I, I used to hate tournaments when I was. There's was quite. The there's quite smooth to be games. fair. Theirs was quite smooth until the final. But someone always has to wait, is what I'm saying. Yeah, so your muscles yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the first two teams have to wait <sighs> yeah. 40 to an hour. And I guess it does lose its effect, doesn't it? Like when you're, when you're waiting for that big game, yeah. in dressing rooms, 90 minutes, it's like yeah. a big, big thing. Whereas when you do little ones, it's kind of like... <sighs> it's like, I, I don't know, it's annoying as well because just when you get into a game and stuff, it's ended. Generally. Yeah. Like it happened at uh, the Wembley Cup. Oof, Wembley Cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Touchy. <laughs> now, it happened at the Wembley Cup when I was like, oh, rah, I can get to play Steven Gerrard. This is like the biggest yeah. thing ever for me. It's like, okay, go into the game, playing. Can't really get into the game. It's not really going. We're getting packed by hashtag, mm. whatever. Start to get into the game, subbed for Toby. Come back on, start to get into the game, subbed for Toby. Yeah. <laughs> like, I literally remember one of the last things I did was flick a nice pass around the corner to Gerrard. I was like, yeah, Gerrard. Yeah. He didn't pass it back to me, but. 
I was like, okay, I'm about to get into it. subbed. Oh man. And it's just like, I, I, I couldn't stand that, you know? Yeah, I get that. Well, I'm trying to, I don't know if you've, I've said it multiple times, but I'm trying to do like my own smaller charity matches. Mm. But everyone has always said, oh, you don't want it, the idea to get stale. Mm. But I want to do like one to 3,000 seat of stadiums mm. and do a charity match just for my charity. Yeah. Like mine and my brothers. Yeah. Um, and maybe not live stream it so it stays exclusive. Yeah. Because if you live stream it, I think it would get boring. Yeah. You'd have, yeah. I want to do like three or four a year. Yeah. And everyone would get a bit bored, but it would be like, yeah. I just invite whoever wants to play can play. It wouldn't, it's not a side men versus thingy. It's yeah. literally, you know, three of the side men might play. Yeah. Some of them, maybe sometimes all of them do, sometimes none of them do. Yeah. More relaxed, and then, doesn't like. Yeah. And I'd literally play. just go like, yeah, the teams, like I might pull them out of a hat, do a video on that. Yeah. I'd record it, put it on my own channel and give all that money to the well, charity as well. Find out the teams on the day. That'd be quite good. Yeah. You got, maybe, maybe you should like incorporate Big Brother Clubs into the, into it. Well, the way I, I wanted to try and do it, but I don't know how it would work logistically. Imagine fans vote, fans of the managers, basically. Yeah. Half like subs and stuff. Yeah. So you're literally like, oh, uh, who should come off now? And you just have a poll of everyone. Yeah. And oh, then that would be so trolly. You do that <laughs> and then it's this. Yeah, it would be, it could, it'd, get to, it'd, be, it'd be entertaining. Many steps watch. on the pitch. Oh, vote. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, yeah, you'd work stuff out like that. You'd go like, okay, whoever's last, whoever's just come on can't be subbed off. Yeah. yeah. And you know, whoever's subbed off has to come back on. Well, you like have that. someone just there with, with polls, right? And, and they can judge it. So they can, they can decide who actually is available to be polled. So if yeah. someone has been subbed, then they can't be part of it. Yeah. That's what, like, that would be quite sick and it'd be very really interactive, but then I'd have to stream it, which would make the event yeah. lose its yeah, 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 yeah. thing. Yeah, true, true. I think it'd be just so sick to do four times a year, a really exclusive event. You've got 2,000 people. If they're there, they can enjoy it. Yeah, you got to be, be there mm. or be square. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like a, you know, it's a nice smaller event. Mm. That money goes to charity. Mm. Do it again and again. Yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. Thanks You'd be down to play. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. You'd be, you'd be invited every time. So would you. This is why. I'm the best footballer. This is yeah, why I was your friend, Simon. Because <laughs> I invite you to events. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thought we had more than that. Um, I can't remember what else I was going to talk about. I've got a question for you. Go on then. When are you going to get back into Sunday League? Oh. Is Simon still playing for UTR? Talk <laughs> so I watch, like, I watch every UTR video. Yeah. And I just think to myself, you lot are so much better without me. But do you know and you what? can't say you're not. <laughs> no, they no. Can't, he can't. He, he you, can't. You know, you know, you know what? I, I know what you're talking about, right? You know, wait, they didn't wait, lose until you played. No, no, no. As in, when I played, that was a different season. Okay. okay. This season, they didn't lose. Yeah, uh, no, okay, but okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play, didn't play this season. The standard of our league this season wasn't like like one of the best teams dropped out and it sort of like dipped it because they would have been battling us. It would have made the games harder. Really sick as well, through right? the whole thing. <laughs> One team. No, I, I, I promise you. They were, it's Bro, we like... lost to the team that I watch you pack in every week. <laughs> no, like... You know the one with the weird, like the guy who has a weird comb over haircut? Uh, no, we never. we never. We've never lost to them. Really? Yeah, we've never lost to them. We lost to well, we... in town. Yeah. We've drawn. No, like when never, I played, it was a, when I played, it was a struggle against them. No, and then I watch you lot, and it's like they're one of the easy opponents. No, like we, we've never lost to them. They're always like they're up for it. Like I know, like well, well, one of them has this just he's a weird comb over dude. It's yeah. so he's a uh, nice guy though. He now, seemed we, nice. We played them so much that we get to know them. It's like we played the same three teams. <laughs> li- it is literally. I only played. <laughs> I probably played a total of eight, get seven, six games yeah. for UTR, something like that. Yeah. I'm pretty certain every single game was against one of two teams. The, the comb over guy. That was one of them. And then there was one other. And I'd be like, and then I'd watch the video and I'd be like, oh, who are you playing this week? And he's like, oh, then. And I'm like, <laughs> we just played. <laughs> Is there any other teams? <laughs> but because it's quite like a tight knit um, league setup. So even the cups and that, certain teams will just go through, certain teams will go out in the lower leagues and stuff. Yeah, because everyone's got lives as well, right? So you can't always... Um... Yeah, and what happens a lot of times, even when a new team joins, you find out two weeks later, dropped out, you lost the points for beating them. You're like, well then, <laughs> gets back to playing Spring Hill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every week. Um, but no, like I think this year, it would be more competitive. We were going to switch leagues and try and go to SE Don's League, Ooh. which, which would have been crazy competitive, but... A couple of things were running through my mind. A lot of people were like, oh, yeah, you're not good enough. You're, um, what do you call it? Scared and this, that. But I was like, no, nah, the thing is, a lot of people already play on Saturdays. If we go into that league, a lot of them already play on Saturdays, but it makes it 
like Saturdays. So why would people want to play two Saturday games? Yeah. So I said, right, the intensity is high. You've got to keep it high. Everyone's going to want to win pride. And I thought, hmm, that, I don't know. So we were half and half. We did want to start a new challenge. And we found out in order to do that, we'd have to go two leagues below mm. and then come back up. And then people were like, nah, actually, that's actually long. So what we're going to do is we'll play in our league. There's newer teams in our league now. And London Cup's the biggest Sunday League Cup yeah. that there is. We got to the third knockout round and we lost on pens in a game that we should have won, mm. which was unfortunate. Otherwise we go on and then we can start making a better name for ourselves. But same time for me, it's just a bit of fun. Like yeah. it's not, yeah. it's supposed to be a bit of fun and I don't want to suck that out from everyone. Obviously the team's gotten better and stuff, but I'm still trying to like keep some of the regular faces around because I don't want it to be like, and that's yeah. why I'm starting to try and be like, I actually need to play more. You do. Because people you do, do you always sub yourself on in like the 70th minute. Yeah. And like, I'm like, what? Yeah. But because I've been so busy, I'm not keeping fit. I said, I'm not starting myself over people who deserve to be yeah, there more. They're well, playing yeah. regularly. The team is ridiculous as well. Like I'm watching it. I'm like, there. I shouldn't play. I shouldn't turn up because that I'm going to be the pity player, which I never want to be. You're really good. Yeah. So Their team is really good. Like really good. But I, I feel like sometimes I feel like, you know, don't need me and stuff like that but you see how the game's going and sometimes someone's not in the mood to play their best or yeah, whatever yeah you're like then it's yeah. your turn or whatever well, is it closer to are you closer to the, the games now than before when you lived in the, other, the old play, old house whatever. probably further ah, okay, okay yeah so you always used to say that you know it's like it's, it's also early go, as well go, yeah yeah you can't wake up for it like you play at like 10am 10, 10 kickoffs or something 10am 10, 10 30 yeah like but I'm waking like up 9 30 like, meet yeah that is but it is it is good to like just meet up with the boys and just like mm. it's a different vibe because a lot of people and I just say this a lot of people are going through loads during the week yeah like in their lives and this with family and work and when you come together on a Sunday even though we have a level of seriousness to it we still all have you a get good away time. from like real life yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's an escape so it is That's good sick, yeah. the it door is, is open it it does it just I can't play Sunday league because there's dons in the league that take it. Too what? too serious. Were you playing that? I don't know if you were playing that game. There was a game where like um we were five one up or something. Like these guys have been fouling us the whole game. Man. You can watch it, UTR versus Fitz Cray. Come on. <laughs> uh, they're fouling us the whole game. I literally at one point, this guy's running away from me, just sort of like drag his shirt a little bit. I can be a little bit of an <laughs> annoying character on the yeah. pitch sometimes. And um he turns around to me, calls me something which I won't repeat. And um I was like, oh yeah, really? Just like hyping back to him a little bit, just messing about. He's like, yeah. So I passed it to him, pass it to him. I'll take a red card to break his leg any day. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take a red card to break my leg any day. I said, give me the ball. I said, lads, give me the ball. <laughs> I was like, he's not going to do anything. I said, you're going to act like this now. And after the game, you're going to laugh and shake my hand. After the game, laughed. Shook my mm -hmm. hand. And we packed him 7 1. Hold that. <laughs> Hold that. I don't think I was there for that game. <laughs> yeah. No, I but played in one. They take it seriously. Yeah. There's so many. You were getting kicked. I there was that's one. You like, can't be asked. I mean, admittedly, I turned up. I had my bright pink hair. Not a good start in Sunday League. But we played <laughs> one again. where all of them started saying about. They started like pointing out our cars and stuff, and yeah. they were literally like, like yeah. one of them literally looked at me and was like, "Yes, yeah, so I saw you. Uh, I think it was a Range I was driving at that point. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I saw the nice Range you drove in. It'd be a shame if someone keyed it. And I was like. Yeah. I was like, why? <laughs> it would be a shame. Yeah. Why? Yeah. 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 That would be yeah. a shame for and then sure. He, he literally like, I remember he's, he started using like homophobic slurs because mm. I had pink hair. It was, it was, yeah. he was, it was targeting a, a little bit. And then the ref told him to stop and he literally just like threatened the ref. The yeah. ref right. backed off. And I, I think the ref like, sent him off in the end. I know what game. I, I think you someone else got, I think someone else, no, I think someone else got sent off. But the guy didn't get sent off for like verbal abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like, he, he was literally, I remember at one point, he literally, one of the guys got booked because he literally turned around and said, he'll stab you. Oh Not God. you. He literally yeah. said to one of our players, he was like, I will stab you. Yeah. And the ref was like, yeah, we'll give you a yellow. Some people are like that. Though. I was like, a yellow? <laughs> I don't know if you saw the one recently where one of our players' heads got stomped on. Yeah. Uh, I'm see surprised that. that no actual proper fight broke out. I think it, I think it happened too quick. Yeah. Like, Man. I mean, I, when I'm watching just the first clip, I didn't even see it. Yeah. But then you show the replay and you show how bad it is. Yeah. But obviously no one there sees the replay. Yeah. I, I, I was looking at his house like, I swear he just stumped on him. Yeah. Then it all kicks off and whatever. And like, at that point I was like, ooh, because they're a bit like, 
edgy customers that don't mind that. And a lot of people that turn up Sunday League have nothing to lose. If we hit someone, if we attack someone, if we get into beef, it's kind of like, it's a team of cameras. It's the yeah. YouTubers. It's like, we have a lot to lose. So I say to the boys, like, I get it. Because they get us, they foul us, this, that. But mm. you have to just try and block it out. And I say that as someone who's been sent off <laughs> once for headbutting. <laughs> Does it annoy you when people do the standard thing of like, say someone fouls you or tackles you, you try a trick or something. They, yeah. And they're like, yeah, put it out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah oh, oh no. Does that oh, annoy yeah. you? Yeah, no, yeah, like it, it's, it's, it is annoying, but I just laugh at it. Like I remember when I was playing for Tevi at Rangers when I first started Sunday League, one of the guys comes in steaming tackle, just cleans me up, put that on YouTube. Literally, yeah. that's what he said. And I was mm. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then another guy was like, I missed a shot. He's like, you're going to put that on YouTube? I was like, yeah, I will. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, 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 I will. And I'll probably make a joke about myself. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, oh yeah. He's like, I'll give you something to put on YouTube. I was like, just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you're just waffling. Just waste, man. Do you know who he played against recently? Uh, on the other team, they had Cozzy. I'm famous. Oh, Catch me all over oh, YouTube. I, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. yeah. He was on the other team. Mad. Yeah. He's he, a good guy, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say all sorts, but I judge people based off my experiences with them. I feel like that's the way to go. And he was chatting like calm, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? I, I had to drop him. the shoulder on him as well. He tried like, <laughs> like, I'm famous now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that is sick. I think I would have tried getting under his skin a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and be like, oh, I don't catch you on YouTube anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> this will be some news for you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Sunday League's banter though. Like it's, it's funny. Like even yeah. the last game of the season, I'm rusty as hell, but I took some dead shot. I was in two minds. What do I do with this? I was like, well, wait, the goal's there. Let me kick it. P roll it to the right. <laughs> and um, one of the guys goes, that's never been you. That's never been you. I was like, oh yeah, cool. Two minutes later, he shanks a pass. I say, yeah, that's never, I say, is that left foot? I swear <laughs> left foot is supposed to be good. He was like, nah, nah, watch me, watch me. Next thing, shanks one off the pitch. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, you shouldn't have come for me. His boys were <laughs> laughing. I was like, what? <laughs> that's never been you. <laughs> so what is, this is really random. What's next? What's next with, is UTR, UTR is just carrying on. Like you're staying yeah. in that league, obviously. Yeah. I'm stuck for where to take it because I think a lot of people want to compete with other YouTube teams and stuff. Like that. But I think sometimes the more competitive it gets, the more boring it gets. Yeah. Everyone Kinda, goes, this yeah. is far too serious. For YouTube, yeah. Yeah. Like when you're playing a Sunday league team, you want it competitive. Like, yeah. Because no one knows the other team. Mm. That's like that's like some anime something where it's like, you know, oh, you have a like a match that's a struggle and then the next one, you, yeah. you know, oh, you've won it. Yeah. Like your last one. Yeah. Uh, your last game that's called like the streaks over or something. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah. Um, like that, that's interesting. But when you're playing against uh, like, I'll use rebel cause they're not. Yeah. But if it's your team, V rebel, it's like, okay, ultimately we want to see the creators we know. Yeah. And I feel like when you get that level, it just becomes serious and you won't know any of the players. It would just yeah. Be mm. Yeah. Like an actual football. Cause match. everyone's trying to like say, oh, we're the best, we're the best. I've never cared to get drawn into that. Do you know what I mean? Never really been like, people go, oh, like, Don's better than UTR, this better than UTR. This. That's nice. Someone has to be the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's you guys, cool. I'm not yeah, saying that we cool. can't be the best or not the best, but I don't bother to get drawn into it. I've got so many other things going on. I've got a son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do I care? Every the argument, best I, know, yeah, I, Every yeah. argument I got a son. I swear down, like, I don't even answer. When people are chatting rubbish to me, I'm like, I've got a son. Don't need this. Mm. So sometimes I go to, I've got a son. You go change nappy or something. Are you talking Even about? if it's not relevant. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just like, ah, oh, the sky, it's green, man. No, it's not. I got a son. Got a son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, literally. Don't argue oh, with me. I got a son. Even someone said to me, that, that's, that's your answer to everything. I said, no, no. I got a son. <laughs> it's a pretty good answer, to be fair. <laughs> so well, what? So I, yeah. I got something to ask you, right? Go on. A bit, of, a bit of family gossip, if you can like shine a light on it. So there's been a rumor recently going around that Toby oh, yeah. is fighting. Have you seen this? Do you know, I saw someone came into my stream and said that oh, Toby's fine. Like what? Nah, so I feel like I feel like I feel like I talk to Toby more than you do these days, isn't it? You got a son. Yeah, yeah. I got a son. I got a son. I, got a son. No, I do talk to Toby. But like I never heard anything about a fight. And then I saw something about Coach Rich saying Yeah, like, Toby's yeah so he's got a posted fight. so he's trained Toby quite a bit. Mm. And then he's put on his Insta story quite a few stories about like 
Toby's fighting this day, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, he's, you know, doing this, he's doing this. Who should Yeah, and I, I, I kind of saw it and I was like, wait, is this actually happening? I haven't <laughs> spoken to him about it because I've got a son. Things slipped my mind. <laughs> uh, but I was kind of like, does he know that, like, we still have our mum? Like, our mum is, yeah, she is not going to want him to fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know who he's fighting. I don't know if it's hype for something or what. I don't know if he's I mean, got a track I, called I, fighting. I think it's all cap. Yeah. Yeah, because oh. he's not said anything to me at all. Well, I feel like that's something to bring up. Yeah, but, but in, 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 my, my, my view of it was like either he, well, he is, and he wouldn't know, he's completely dead, or it's just a lie. Maybe if look. he is, then you guys would know. So I don't, but I don't know. Coach Rich seems to be talking about it normally, right? Unless, it was weird. Yeah, why would you make that up? But unless he actually is having a fight, but not like a fight, he's maybe sparring against another YouTuber at a certain date. Okay. Maybe yeah. just for a video. Yeah. And it's not serious. Yeah. And that's what it'll boil yeah. down to. People always ask me, Manny, would you fight? And this, that. I said, what am I fighting for? That's what, yeah, bro, yeah, that's yeah, the one yeah. thing I can't stand from this whole well, YouTube box. Like, I don't thing. gain anything from it. Even if I do go and train for seven months, I go and I see the lights run, and I get knocked out. What? Then what? So you can meme me for the rest of my <laughs> yeah. life? Yeah. <laughs> nah, no, gee. What's so, I mean? And it, unless they're, you know, if, if they're going like, yeah, here's 10 mil to fight. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, but 10, I, ain't I will for 10 throw mil. the fight. I'm telling you, <laughs> I ain't training. Uh, I'm gonna live my life until the fight. Get the ten mil. Then, go and then just go, yeah. like Momo. Give it a good go. <laughs> Better dancing. <laughs> that was good. But no. see, even JJ, like he fights for a reason. He's not just doing it for no reason. Yeah. Like every fight with Weller, then with Logan, like he, obviously he wants to. He's been training, but it's, 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 again, there's he a reason the, there. Like, the passion, yeah, to him, fight him, them. Him yeah, and Jay, they, want, they want to go at each other. The thing is with fights as well. Anyone can win because it takes just one hit yeah, in the yeah. right place. Yeah, it can. And just the stuff of like when you see boxers and stuff go in four fights, mm. they're trained everything, they get hit in the wrong place and their career's done. Like yeah. it's not it's not worth there's too much to lose. Yeah. To, and even if there, there is money on the line, I got offered money for, to do cage fight. I said, cage fighting with what? Do you know I just look at my shoulder? Fame MMA. Fame MMA. Yeah. I said no. He got offered it. Yeah. I got well, offered he, it he and I'm not gonna disclose the figures. He got offered against Con. Yeah. Well, no one got paid anyway, did they? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> Decent offer, but uh, not for me. Well, I know you don't, you don't really involve yourself or keep up with random YouTube drama stuff. Yeah, I unless like. I see it trending or someone talks. Yeah. About it. So recently, literally like a few days ago, there was another fight. Oh, yeah. um, oh. Like you know, Slim. No. So Slim fought against Fousey Tube a while ago. Okay. And Slim won. Okay. Was that when Fousey, everyone's like, Fousey got knocked out and this, that? Yeah. Like Fousey literally didn't punch. Yeah, he so stood bad, like, he yeah. stood like this and then Slim yeah. punched him. And then Slim's <laughs> been calling out Deji and Gib for time. Mm. Slim had a fight, fought against the child that just didn't fight yeah. back. And then Adam Salah had a fight. Mm. Got, I mean, I watched the fight. He I got, saw JJ post tank about it on this story, but I, I mean, I watched it. He got destroyed, yeah. but it got given as a draw. Mm. So now he's coming to London apparently and JJ's agreed to fight him. And that's in like 10 days or like a week or something like that. Is that being... It's just a spar, I think. But yeah. they're yeah. both very much like you need to be humbled to each other. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah. I am. I beg he lets us watch. I know, yeah, please. I need to watch that. Well, I want to ask you something, right? I, I, I didn't watch the whole event, but you know Slim, right? He's in the ring going off a uh, give, right? But he, he like walks off to the side and calls him out. Was Gib there? No. You, see, you know what I'm talking about, right? The clip. Yeah. He, he walks off like, yo, Gib, Gib. And I'm like, you know he's not there, right? <laughs> Maybe he thought it was like one of the cameras. Maybe it was a was, camera. Yeah. They, they didn't cut to it on our, yeah. our side. <laughs> Cameraman, the guy on uh, camera three was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> he's texting. <laughs> but yeah, it just seems to just, it's just going on and on. Like I don't never know. Dies. Boxing never never but I think because people are seeing the figures in it. So everyone's trying to create hype. Yeah, but I just feel like there's some where it's just like, no just one cares. Stop. Well, but yeah. even that, the yeah. social gloves thing, like, is is weird now. Have you seen that? What's stuff going on with that? Well, because you know the TikTok YouTube event. Yeah. I so that. Austin versus Bryce yeah, and all the others, etc. Yeah. Apparently, like, no one's been paid for that as well. And th- this, so like, the, it was video live. What, what was video the live and social gloves? Yeah, and they're, they're suing Austin. For Austin like- and social gloves, I think, sued video live saying like no one's being paid, I don't know, something. And then they're now suing Austin or something like that. But it's a hundred million dollars. 
Well, claim, yeah, yeah, supposedly $100 million. And they're, they're saying that Austin came to him and was like, oh, you're going to get this many like pay-per-view buys. Something like 3 million pay-per-view buys. Um, yeah. And they got something and, and like they got, 100K or something like that. Yeah, but I'm thinking like, has anyone ever got 3 million pay-per-view buys before? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe the very, very top one. Yeah, like, he said that. There's no guarantee and they probably would have known that. So. Yeah, yeah, you can't. I'm going to start selling that idea to places. Uh, yeah, brands. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm going to get like, 100 million views. Yo, Man City, <laughs> let me just borrow your stadium. I'm going to get 100 million views. 100 million pay-per-view they're, they're like, guys. Oh, man. Damn, these YouTubers <laughs> are doing big things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's a sign. laughs> no, that stuff goes over my head, as you can tell. Yeah. I feel like you don't. Yeah, I feel like you've always just nah. stayed to the side. I'm too like, chill yeah, for that. Like, That's yeah. what I mean. Like even when YouTubers were beefing and stuff like, when I first jumped on Twitter, I used to be the one just like getting at like a little, my little YouTube friends and just yeah. like cussing them or whatever. But then I was just like, I can't be asked. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, like the Sidemen diss tracks and stuff, I remember you reacted with your mates. Yeah. To a load of them. But I was, that was in Toby's video. I didn't even react on my own channel. Ye yeah, did you not react to one? I didn't react to anything. Oh man. I watched everyone else's reactions because in that point, like it was a low period for like games and stuff, but I just thought, I don't want to build my following off of reactions mm. and then people just go anyway. So I was just kind of yeah. like, well, I'll just wait for it to ride out. And a lot of people boomed during that period, but a lot of people also dipped yeah, after that. And I, I didn't yeah. really want to do that. Oh yeah, it was a proper like, yeah. the month after it was just sadness for everyone. <laughs> we were all sat there like, <laughs> yo, this is, I uploaded a video like reacting to Harry's diss track on JJ, 9 million views. Something yeah. like, like stuff like that. And then the next month, I'm putting like work into a video. It's, and it's okay. like, yeah, you know, like a couple hundred thousand views. Yeah. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> it, it just, it, that, that feels horrible, doesn't it? And it never, even though you know it's coming. Yeah, you but can't. It's, like. it's crazy. That's one thing that I find with this. Like I always ask myself, like if someone told me I do the numbers that I do right now on yeah. YouTube, I would be like, no way. Yeah. You're waffling. I remember one of the conversations, I'll never forget it. I was... In the old Sidemen house, the very first one. Yeah. And Simon was like, oh, what sort of views do you do now? I was like, 600K views a month. He was like, a couple of months, you're going to be doing like two to three mil, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, sure, Simon. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That'd be nice. I'll get my own Sidemen house. In this. <laughs> um, yeah, no, like, funny enough, like a couple months down the line, maybe less than a year, and everything just started picking up more and more and more. So I always try and take my mind back to that stage where I wanted more. So when I do see my views still doing better than what I was doing then, I'm kind of, I'm still grateful. And that's why I'm in the stage where like, if I'm going to upload Pez, to upload yeah, Football well, Manager, I, yeah. I don't care if it does bad views. Cause he's like, he's literally like, his channel does this and it's literally like, happy Randolph, sad Randolph. Yeah. Happy <laughs> Randolph. You can't let the numbers control you, I swear yeah. down. And that's why sometimes I step back from it all and I'm just like, whatever, man. I, I don't have to do it though. Like, I mean, I, I, I know that I shouldn't, but it, it just still does. I know, like, it's, it's no, hard to because, explain. like, even now I'm not really uploading much right now because I know it's a dead period for gaming. But you, sometimes you have to take that L period or that calm period mm. when nothing's happening in order and just plan. And then when you come back, come with a boom. Before FIFA 20, I literally studied two or three other YouTubers like Net, Bates, and Matt HD. I was like, what are these guys doing to get their yeah. views? They're consistently hitting a certain amount of views. Studied them, and that was one of my best years Sick. on YouTube. Then from there, FIFA 21 another mm. like sick one because when yeah. you strategize and take a step back you can do so much better but when you're caught up in consistent and oh no this needs to hit this you get down because it's not doing what you need it to yeah but you're not taking time to do what it needs to do to get to where it needs to be yeah that's gonna be, it's gonna be a good dad you know very good dad <laughs> <laughs> that wisdom's there man yeah. uh what it's because like, oh, i got a 10 out of 10 <laughs> <laughs> step back man but what's what's next with like everything else everything else yeah just you manny what's next me? with manny do you know what i just want to like get to a place where i feel at peace like and m my whole life isn't just youtube i want to mm. sometimes i forget my name's emmanuel because no one calls me emmanuel yeah. i'm just manny 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 and that's what i say to my friends I say, I, some days i just don't want to be manny Mm. like I want to be left alone I don't want to be held to many standards yeah you know like it worked really against deep. me as well yeah, it's, it's it was really deep yeah, yeah. yeah like I, it worked against me sometimes I'd go to I'd sign for a Saturday club and they've already posted it before I know and I'm kind of like no like I don't want you guys to make a big thing about me just let me come in and play football, play football in yeah. peace you know and that's why I was really hesitant I was like you know I can't bother with this 
But I really enjoy like the competitive nature of it. Mm. But I don't want to be held to, oh, Manny the YouTuber. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing happened with Jez when he went to Billericay. And was like, oh, the guy from F2 signed, it's going to run through the whole team. No, like yeah. this YouTube videos. Not to say he's not a good player, but, it's but different. Yeah, it's different. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I sometimes I just, I ask myself, who, who even am I? Like, am I just what these people want me to be all the time? People come into my streams sometimes and say like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Because I don't want to. Yeah. Oh, like, why aren't you replying? Because I'm playing my game right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there's a one that's very famous in my streams these days because I'm not streaming FIFA and getting crazy views. Uh, I'm streaming what I want and doing whatever views. Ugh, stream fell off. Like, why are you streaming this? Low viewers, yeah. I say. First of all, number one, where's your viewers and why are you watching me? <laughs> Secondly, if you can't fit in your living room, it's fine. <laughs> You know what I mean, <laughs> you can probably not even fit six people in your living room and you're coming in, ah, it's low views. I said, 49 is fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I'm just trying to take an outlook like that and not let numbers control me and not just be a YouTuber. Now I want to be like a family. I want to go out and do stuff. Yeah, and that's, but that's where important. being who I am, even if I was to quit today, people are still going to know my face. And mm. I say this, I was having a conversation with my sister the other day and I was like, it does get draining. Like wherever I go, literally wherever I go, I'll get recognized. Yeah. Like, even the weirdest places. I'm not even going to mention uh, all of them on here, but you'll be in the weirdest places Think, yeah, I'm fine. Excuse me, are you? Mm -hmm. I went to Toby Carvery, the guy serving me my stuff. He's like, you look like someone. I said, do I? I get that a lot. <laughs> I said, I get that a lot. I said, who do I look like? He's like, did we go to school together? I said, no. He said, you look like Manny from the Sidemen. I said, I'm not in the Sidemen, <laughs> but I am Manny. <laughs> I said, I am Manny, but it's like, just want to eat my food but it just is what I, I can't change my face well, the, the worst part about is when, like, you're, you're out and about and even if like say no one like recognizes you you think they do or you, you think like that's oh man like, what I wonder the if thing someone's is. Walking, walking now that exactly that, yeah. that is the thing that comes with it and that's what makes me uncomfortable not that I hate people coming up to me but I just don't like the all eyes on me feeling and funny enough it's so weird that I'm even doing YouTube and in the limelight because I'm such a keep to myself sort of person yeah. it's like this is what Toby says as well Toby says this, this stuff a lot as well like he's very much like I'd, uh, YouTube would not be the kind of thing I would I wouldn't have chosen do now yeah to like yeah yeah because there's so much that comes with it that people don't understand like and that's why it's a weird thing because I don't like expressing myself online when I'm in a bad mood because mm. when I do I know there's just a, a good amount of people that just won't get it because they see the blue tick yeah 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 so they see the blue tick and they think you're invincible so I remember one time I tweeted I was just going through it I just wasn't feeling myself wasn't enjoying anything and I was like, oh, I just feel down, blah, blah, blah. And someone was like, what do you mean, man? What do you have to be down about? You've got money, you've got fame, you've got your family. Yeah. They're all healthy. I said, how do you know my family's healthy? Yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you just assume everything. You're a millionaire. This, how do you know I'm a millionaire? Mm. How do you know that I didn't have 500k of debt before I jumped into this? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Did, did you? No. <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> you know, I, but no, I, I get Everyone you just assumes everything and just thinks, oh, like, we see you on the camera, you're amazing, like everything's okay. But sometimes there's days where I literally don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to turn on my stream. I don't want to. That's the thing as well, I think, because cause the kind of videos that like we both make, well, all of us make, you don't ever, we're not like daily vloggers yeah. where if you have a bad day, you'll post a bad day. See it, yeah. yeah, Like you won't post a day. Like yeah. you won't, you know, do a, a voiceover, et cetera, like talking to the camera of UTR of a UTR game. Yeah in a bad mood. Yeah. You'll, you'll wait till you're in a good mood and do well, it. There's, there's times where I've literally had videos where I've had some news that I don't want to hear or something's got me mad. I've gone on stream and I'll have the worst stream ever. And to make it worse, I might be playing FIFA, which will annoy me even more. I say, guys, I can't do this. I got to be real with you. I'm not feeling it right now. And I'll lock off my stream. Yeah. yeah because yeah. I, it comes across as in two or three videos where I've looked at them. You look like an absolute prick in that video because you came on with the wrong energy. Yeah. And it's a, it's a mad thing, but everyone always expects you to be happy and just be like, whoa, like, yeah, yeah, like, look at me, I make money. And it's like, well, even if I do make money, how much is going out as well? There's a lot of responsibilities. And there's a lot of things that, let's say, three, four years ago, I was going through and it was so tough. So I was making money, but it felt like I didn't make, I wasn't making money because there's so many things going on in my life. Yeah. But I wouldn't express that to people because I don't want to air out my di dirty laundry and make it. Do you know what I mean? I don't want everyone to know my business because sometimes it's embarrassing because you... I it doesn't know. need to be online. Yeah, it? yeah, it doesn't need exactly, to be online, yeah, but, but everyone online thinks that everything's be, yeah. fine. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, 
am I two people? I'm, I'm two people without intending to be two people, but I don't want everyone to know everything. Well, that's, that's why social media is so tough as well, though, because people who are going through like the normal things, like day in, day out, like struggling, they think that like uh, people online, social media people don't go through those same things as yeah. well. But obviously, we don't we don't always want to like put that because yeah, yeah. it's affecting us. But then because they don't see it, it's also dangerous for them because they think that oh, it's, everything's perfect. Yeah, it's hard because how, how do you how do you ch- change that? You know, because like, I, I I don't want to post a video of me like going through something, but then they don't know that I'm going through something. Yeah, so they like, think, say I'm, for I'm example, perfect. this the like, start of this week, I don't know what happened. I don't know why I feel like I was overwhelmed with the realization of also like your father and just all the changes and trying to balance everything at once. And I was just in the worst mood ever. And I was just, I don't know if you guys saw it. I tweeted, I was like, sometimes I don't know if I'm depressed yeah, I saw that. or I if I'm going now, through yeah. or if I'm just going through a patch. And I think someone replied and was like, well, if you don't know if you're depressed, you're probably not. You're probably just going. And I was like, well, I, I, I don't know. Like I've mm. never died. Di- I can't diagnose yeah. myself really or, and I, yeah. I, I don't know. For yeah, I mean, a lot Twitter, of people, you don't Twitter go. Twitter is not the right place to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to that's what I'm saying. Like but that. sometimes it's like, if you don't, then it's just you're in your own head, and that's what t- Twitter is. You just express your thoughts. Well, that's, I feel like depression is such a difficult one as well because it, it, it like implies, and obviously I'm not, I'm not sure like the actual definitions itself, but like some days you can be really happy and some days you, some days you can feel like awful but because yeah. like there's a term for it you feel like you're not allowed to feel bad on that specific day yeah and they say it's like oh man I'm, 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 I'm depressed today but then tomorrow I'm happy but yeah. it's, it's not like, simple you can't well, be always happy and always depressed you have both yeah did you guys see that meme that went around uh, on Twitter a couple months ago where it's like oh buy a stream and then the next thing's like the guy just with his head down once everything's yeah. turned oh, okay. off and I was like that's the heap yeah because yeah. sometimes you feel like that you've given all your energy to the stream and you have nothing left for you but I, it's a weird one because for a long time I've always been like, I don't want to say that I'm depressed because it feels like if I say that, I'll st- get stuck there. Mm. But it's very good to do stuff like this where you can talk and vent out and just be open. Because if you don't do that, you're in your own head. There's days where I've just been like, don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. Don't want to do anything. Yeah. You know, and there's so many things that will do that to you. Well, some days you're supposed to like some, some some days like you have to like just take it easy and just like, you are human. Be, be down like like sometimes it's good to be to feel down as well because it gives you perspective. Yeah. Whereas um, you know, so I like, used to have say I have a saying like I'm pride myself on it. I have maximum three cries a year, and now I look at myself and I think, oh, you're mm, hard. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Cry if you need to. Yeah, yeah. Drake. <laughs> yeah, <see>? <laughs> <laughs> gonna start singing. <laughs> <laughs> but that is true though. Man. You got you have to you have to have that like you have to have the lows really because then you appreciate yeah. the, the highs. Like so. um, when I went to play Saturday football, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get back in Saturday football. Signed with a team called Basildon, Basildon Decent Standard. And I was like, yeah, I want to get back into it. First game uh, came off the bench in the 90th minute. Literally about to score the winning goal. It's nil-nil. Keep, my head is right there. Keep his hand. Push the ball away. Everything changes. Next game, come on last four minutes. What can you do in the last four minutes? Mm. And um, next day after that was when I dislocated my shoulder after scoring a goal on Sunday. And then it was like back to square one. And in that moment, I just felt down. I was like, what's the point? Yeah. It's like every time I try and take a step forward, get pushed back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I I don't know how to, but you have to try and get out your head yeah. as much as possible. With yeah. I feel like YouTube is one of the worst for that though. Yeah. Like I was talking to Cal- Calix about it a while ago and he was like, no, I actually realizes how fucked our job is in terms of mentally yeah it's to- yeah, horrible. like everyone obviously has their own thing they're going through as well but mm. like as you said you only show positivity online mm. so yeah, yeah no one's mad and i, don't know, I wish i could switch people. it on and off because it's a good thing to have people like recognize what you do appreciate what you do i've had people cry to me and be like your video saved me in a hard time and that's the sort of stuff that keeps me going i've said to you a lot i don't know if i can do this again i, I don't know if i can do this for much longer and you said to me, well, what are you going to do after that? And I was like, I don't know, but if I'm doing this and I'm not happy sometimes. Yeah. yeah. At the start of every year, I go, can I do YouTube for another year? But I get, I have periods where I really enjoy it and I have periods where I don't. And it's because life, everything changes here and there. And like, yeah. there's so much to deal with that isn't YouTube. So to balance it with YouTube, trying to be creative, trying to get the numbers that you want, you know? But like, like I said, I'm trying to get into that position where I'm, or well, place where I'm not chasing numbers. Because you chase numbers, you just won't ever find satisfaction. Mm. That's why I think like, one of my happiest times on YouTube was chasing numbers, but it was all while it was going up 
quick. Yeah. But then the worst time I've had on YouTube is when I've looked at numbers and it's going down. Yeah. yeah. Like that that time was literally yeah. you're not enjoying anything and it makes you wanna post more videos to try and get back cater to, to yeah, losing yeah. views and it doesn't work. Yeah. So now it's I'm what, working harder yeah. Yeah. to do worse. Well yeah, I always yeah, say yeah. to you and I always say to the guys like in our Discord, I said, Simon works so hard. I said, that guy needs to chill out. I said, you've done so well that you need to chill out because if you're working at the rate that you're working at, you can only do that for so long. Yeah. You need to like uh, yeah, take a step back, but I just keep doing it. <laughs> exactly. You keep doing it because to an extent it's like, once you're not content creating, you don't know what to do yourself. If you're not out enjoying yourself, even if you enjoy yourself for a week, you want to go back, you're like itching to go back and like, oh, the numbers are going down. It's because the numbers are controlling. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're like, oh, I can't take too long. Otherwise people forget about me. Numbers will dip, you know, but, that's why I think in our positions where you are YouTubers, content creators, you have to maximize it to the point where you're doing so well, your money's working for you that you don't need to create content to make your money. Yeah. And when you're at that point, you can do content that you, you enjoy. Free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I keep saying to, I can't remember who I said this to, but I was like, I'll, obviously, everyone always says, oh, you know, like JJ, when he was like 21, was like, yeah, I'm going to retire at 25. And yeah. we all went, no, you're not. Like, <laughs> we can do it at 25, retired. Like all your mates work. Yeah, You're going to yeah. get bored as hell. You're going to work. I keep saying to myself like, oh yeah, I'll get to the point where, you know, I don't have to work, but I just make videos when I want to make videos. And that'll be the fun. Like I'll make a fun video. I'll be like, yeah, I want to make that video. So I'll do it. Yeah. But then I keep thinking like, when is that point? Because I feel mm. like you're just never happy with... Exactly. You never, never, ever, yeah. Yeah. But, but I, feel, I feel like you, I, one of the reasons you've been like so successful is because you do like, uh, you can get in your head a lot, but then you work harder to make sure that you, you know, so for, like later a minute ago, if the views start dropping, you work even harder to make sure that they, they, they don't. Okay. But then, but then yeah, on, on, but that's on, really unhealthy. It's, really. Yeah, but it's, it's so unhealthy, but then at the end of the day, that's, that's, you know, you post so much and do so much that that's also like why you've done so well. Yeah, so but yeah. That, that can make it even worse it's, in your head. It's, it's, like, it's weird though, because if I ask you now, how many times do you go on holiday that has nothing to do with work? A year. <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> mad, right? Oh, and, mad. And, then, and then, right? And then this is true. Someone will say to you that's going on holiday and you'll be like, oh, I'm not sure if I can commit to that yet. In, in case I'm working. Exactly. Tal you're working, have that, can, Tal can Talia not watch this clip? <laughs> 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 we were literally talking about it yesterday and I was like, uh, just, we we're talking about Bali. Yeah. And, um, Cause it's like a 14 hour flight or something. And she was like, oh, you got to go there for like you know, two weeks. Yeah. Two, two weeks. Are you mad? Yeah. I'm going for four days. But you should, you should. <laughs> but do you know what as well? Like I ask myself this stuff, like, cause every time we go on holiday, we got to get videos ahead and mm. whatever. We put that pressure on ourselves. But to an extent, it's like, what, if you're working so hard, where's the time to ever enjoy it? Yeah. But I, I always look at it as like, I'll enjoy it later. Yeah. Okay, but so no, that's not bad. Okay, but do, yeah, do you know no, when no, it come, no. becomes real? When you become ill, can you work? I mean, I, I have. No, no, no. It's like when you become ill, like bed bound, you're like, you can't do anything. You can't work. So if you can do that, then you can take two weeks off. Because if you have no choice, then. Yeah. Mm. But part of me is also like, yeah, I, I work so that if I am ill, I'm calm because I've already done the work. No, but then you're only catering for when you're not feeling good you have to make and do stuff to make yourself feel good you have to have yeah. time for holidays and breaks and no i agree with you but it's just one of those things like it's it's just ingrained in my head yeah. like when i was you know after the euros final like i was i was ill yeah like we missed a podcast yeah i think that's the first maybe the second time on my second channel i've missed two days in a row but that, that was that was illness, but also top of the fact that like you're just so depressed because of England, it just felt so shit. Yeah, like I, I didn't want to get better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, just let me. Just that was horrible. Me. It just felt so bad. Yeah, but that's but like the first time it, I started that channel in 2013 or something. That's the first yeah, time but... I've missed two days in a row. That's even crazy. even like this, even like to miss the podcast now is a big thing, isn't it? Because we, we, we've yeah. got such a rhythm with it. It's we like... did like nine, like 90 episodes in a row or something, and yeah. then I missed that one. Get to 100 and take the pressure off. <laughs> no, but we missed it. Oh. And then we've done 100 episodes over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Whose who's fault was it? Mine. No, it wasn't, no, that's not your fault, though. Well, it's when I was ill. Okay, well, exactly. And then what can you do? Okay, you, you didn't get to 100. What then? Yeah, but you have to get out of your own head. Otherwise, you're never going to get out of the thing. You're never going to enjoy what you're working for. No, I know, I know. But like, if you go back and look at old videos, even when I'm ill, just make videos. 
Yeah, yeah I like used to do that. There's so many videos where I'm literally like well, dying. Josh as well, man. Like, you know, Josh just had like COVID, and he's like, he's like obviously he had to rest because it was, it was so bad. But there's times where he's like, his, his voice is still gone. I'm like, bro, he started just, a stream. Yeah, yeah. Like, bro, it's relaxed. Like, take take the day. Well, there's. I think it was. I can't remember what it was. I think it was. I think it's Punishment Pool on the Sidemen channel, yeah. like the recent video yeah, he yeah. did. And there's one bit where I say something in it, and my voice, like at that point, I'm like, <laughs> like that. I literally say something to Josh, and I go. <laughs> and he goes he literally just bursts out laughing and I'm like uh, I'm very ill uh, <laughs> but I'm like I could kind of you know how you can like almost I don't know how the right word like you can suck it up and kind of put it on for 20 minutes yeah it was that and then I, it's like I hey calm I hate that yeah, yeah like yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd do it for football like play football ill and I'd done it for videos as well but I watched back the video and said, why are people are going, sorry guys, I'm really like, oh, like. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, what am I doing? Like postpone the video. If they don't get a Sunday league this week, it's fine. No one's going to, yeah. hopefully yeah. no one's going to die. <laughs> well, the only thing about YouTube though, it doesn't allow you to take breaks that, that well. If you take a week off, it's hard to get back on that train again. Yeah, but that's, that's the dip. But sometimes you have to accept that. And where I'm trying to tell myself to accept it, I haven't up, tomorrow's going to make it a week I haven't uploaded. Mm. Before I used to say, I've not uploaded for more, never uploaded or not uploaded for more than a week. And I kept to that up until this baby yeah. came around and it was like two weeks. So now I've never not, not uploaded for two weeks. But I see people that go away for three months, four months, and I think mm, their channel's gone. They come back. And, but you just have to be ready for the, the comeback. As well. yeah. Especially when you already have a following. Like for you, especially, I don't think if you went off the face of the earth, for six months and said, I'm taking a break. It would work better in your favor because people go, where's Simon <laughs> well, going? You come back, JJ. boom. Yeah, like yeah. JJ. JJ's never gonna have that thing where he's not relevant yeah. because he's, you're too well known. Like you're too far gone. Yeah, yeah. If you come back, your comeback's a big thing. You're trending. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, my main channel is pretty much non-existent right now. <laughs> Done like one video in the last month. Yeah. But you had that period where we were talking and you were like, oh, um, I'm running out of ideas for my main channel. Can't think of ideas for my main channel. I was like, yeah, I don't blame you because you upload every day. Of course you can't think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you upload every day. Of course you're going to run out of ideas. Like, yeah. And then you slowly got into the thing where like, you know what? I don't mind. I'll focus on the gaming stuff and whatever. And if my f- uh, main channel suffers a little bit, it's calm. Well, then I started streaming a lot more on Twitch as well. Yeah. And I mean, that that's what's like YouTube. Yeah, you can't, take a break really but you can because you can also get ahead yeah like when we you know we used to go on holiday and film ahead yeah <clears throat> yeah like we'd go e3 or something and we would film 14 videos in the seven days before mm-hmm. and that would be the week yeah whereas twitch you literally can't well, like can't you, you can't get out. ahead you can't you, uh, you, 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 can't, you, you can't be there can you no yeah like you could you, you know you can and you can't in a way because you could have days where you stream longer and days where you don't stream at all yeah but like going away for because obviously the way subs work in which you know i know realistically don't really care if i have this many subs or this many subs yeah because ultimately it's just you know you stream what you want and if as long as your community is good yeah calm but it's always a number that you look at yeah as like you know if you're if you're like a big stream or a small stream or something and proportionately you have a tiny amount of subs mm. it's still it's still going to play on your mind a little bit yeah and then if you go away for a week all those subs from the previous month in those seven days all disappear yeah so in your if, head, if they're real they have auto renew on yeah but but they're not fake <laughs> <laughs> or, or gifts right yeah yeah I'd, but they disappear I just no, think that, that, that goes back to the like, numbers. Like, like gifts disappear, but then, then you're like, oh, people aren't leaving. It's just the gifts are expiring. Yeah, but normally like, you know, if you are if you streamed every single day, you'd probably like, you'd have days where you go up a bit more, days where you go down a bit more, but you'd average out. Mm. Whereas if you took a week off, all ah, those okay, gifted yeah. subs disappear. Yeah, and yeah. all the people who haven't resubbed, haven't resubbed because you haven't streamed. So it like goes down a lot. Yeah. And, and it's just like- That's again, straight back to the numbers. Yeah. Numbers. And I know, I know. Matrix literally. was ahead of its time. I mean, if you, I spoke to you a lot in like the first house, second house, etc. I spoke about numbers nonstop. Like I, I could tell you, I could tell you how many views I was doing every single day. Yeah. And on both channels. Yeah. Now, I don't even know what my main channel's at. Yeah. Ever. 
And my second channel. Well, that's because you're see also it. a psychopath that has like five channels. <laughs> and I'm trying to run two, At maybe least. three. <laughs> I'm thinking, hmm. <laughs> but like yeah. five channels. Like, you, you don't have time anymore to look at the views. <laughs> but like, I don't. So I, I only know how many my second channel does because when I upload a video, you have to go and create a dashboard and yeah. I see it. Yeah. And I'm still not sure. I know roughly. Main channel, any channels, any other channels, I have no idea. Sidemen main channel, I know. Yeah. And second, Sidemen second channel, I know only because peop, other people will have. Oh, yeah. I've, I, I, when I said about the channels, I didn't even mention those two. You have like five of your own sort of channels <laughs> and the Sidemen channels, and you still don't take a holiday. <laughs> No, this because there's so many. I am Simon's therapist right now. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't it. Simon. Talk to me. No, honestly, <laughs> like you gotta take time. You've done too well not to enjoy it and just keep working. Like you're broke. But that's why I wanna I wanna get into a rhythm with like second channel where it like at the moment games are so dead. Yeah, like there's no games out right mm -hmm. now that are like like you know when Among Us was out. We could literally play that. I could play it for four hours with mates. Yeah. And I'd be a week ahead. Yeah. Because it was just like yeah, that, every that was, game was, was nice every game, everyone's up for it. It's fun, etc. Yeah. Now I'm struggling. Every day is like, what the what, fuck do what I do? do you, what do you play? And the main channel, like I'd happily go away for a week and just make a vlog out of it. And I know that's still turning a holiday into work. Yeah. But a week's holiday, it's one work. video is not really work. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's, that's fine. And I feel like in our job... The problem is we are our brand. We are our work. That's the problem because you can't take time off and say, oh, someone else do it because regardless of if someone else edits it, someone else does this, it's your face. Yeah. So you have to be present in some way, yeah. shape or form. And that's the yeah. same thing for me with UTR. There's times where I haven't been able to put all my energy towards it, but I am a big part of UTR because yeah. I've started it. It's my thing, you know, so... It, it is tough because we are our work. We're not like a brand that's just got loads of moving parts that yeah. doesn't need us. You know, it's turned into a proper therapy session. Nice, it's, it's, it's a good podcast. <laughs> it's deep. It's the deepest one. It's very really deep. Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm a deep person. That's nah, good. It's good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm out of out of questions. I'm just thinking about every life right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm contemplating life. Do you, Do you have anything else you want to talk about? No, I'm just going to go and uh, reassess everything I do. <laughs> I'm going to go look, <laughs> look at all my numbers. <laughs> Have all the numbers written down for future. You know what, guys? I think genuinely, though, I don't know I don't know if you guys read or not. I don't read enough. Yeah, and I no, feel I like after this week where I just had like a bad patch, it's kind of like I need to read and listen to more positive things and then go from there. Yeah. I read one book in that Freezy Challenge. Mike. And I actually really enjoyed it. But the thought of picking up a book and starting... It puts me up like podcasts. I, I should do. I yeah. need th I need those. I know there are them. Those like ten minute podcasts that are okay. Like yeah. there's always there's loads of like really positive ten minute podcasts. Yeah. I need one of them. Well, I, I used to listen to when I used to live back in Nottingham. When I used to drive to the Seven House. Like, it was a three and a half hour journey, and that would literally be the exact like length of like a Joe Rogan podcast. And he speaks to some really like cool people, interesting people, mm. and I used to really enjoy that. And that that's like a form of reading in a sense. Because like you're, just, you're, you're driving. And you're, all, all you're looking at is a road and the podcast. So you just, you're focusing on it fully. And that's what reading it, reading it is. Reading is mm. not just about like what, what's in the paper. It's more about you just like being like still and just dedicating just what you're doing to that. There, yeah? Yeah. Because you, yeah. you, you and myself have never had any time in the day or in the week to go and like read a book or listen to a podcast. Yeah. But when I'm driving, even now, now I'm dr not driving to uh, d different areas for, for Ace yeah. and stuff. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to podcasts and I'm, I'm like focusing on it. And it's yeah. good to have that time where you, you put your energy into just something like, a, like that. a calm period, like what I try and do in the mornings. I don't even do it often enough and that's why I have those moments. But like I try and read a devotional, I yeah. read like my Bible, have a positive quote and something to get me in the mood for the day and in the mood for the week. And yeah, it's just yeah. like that slow period. And even if it's just chilling and just like having an instrumental playing or mm. something, going for a spa or something, something yeah, to just no, reset. Yeah. We don't yeah. have a reset or we have a reset button. We keep it there. Yeah. You just don't choose to. Yeah. But another note, life's great. Nice yeah, to see yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you too, bro. Sorry, I went to. Hopefully, um, not again for another year now. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I've been. Um, there's a thing pop up on my laptop here. It's like your disc is almost full. I think like it's about to run out of space. So that's like, how long we've been on for. Uh, hour thirty. Hour 30. Yeah, the last like ten minutes. I've been looking at this. Expect it at some point to just stop. And I'm so conscious about it. Yeah, sorry, guys. Well, maybe that's a sign to stop. Might yeah, be, yeah, might be. 
Well, thank you very much for coming on. It's really good to see you. Mm. I still need to come visit. Yeah, I know. Like, got my beautiful fiance and my beautiful son and Uncle Simon. Yeah, but you got to hold a baby. He's absent. I'll be honest. I've already said, like, me and Talia are going there. So Talia can hold the baby and me and Manny can go kickball. Yeah. Fantastic. She'll Manny, she'll Manny gets you're also Talia will passion the baby. Hmm? Talia will passion the baby. And that, that sounds very casual. You, considering we were talking about playing pass, like kicking ball, <laughs> no, 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 no. you've gone like, yeah, she'll pass the there's baby. No way, there's no way. <laughs> there's, there's, no way. there's no way Talia holding the baby, right? You're sat there and she doesn't like. No. You're going to be really cautious, but I promise if I can do it, anyone can do it. I think I might have. By the way, this has all come down from I don't know if I've ever held a baby before. Yeah, it's I a think I podcast. have, though, because in my head, I think my mum took a picture of me holding my cousin as a baby. But that would have been like year, like when you were young as well. Yeah, uh, I feel like it I has to be when you're older. Though. It, it doesn't really count. Older, yeah. But I'm talking like eleven years ago, not like twenty years ago. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're like, you what? I think twenty two. I think, but this. <laughs> are you good? That's a little bit banter. <laughs> but yes, um, it terrifies me. I don't. I don't want to. I don't know. That's why you'll be good at it though, because you you like, you know it's a, it's a lot of pressure, but then you'll rise. Well, it to terrified it. me like when the baby came out. They're like, "Do you want to hold him?" I said, "No." <laughs> <laughs> and I know that sounds mad, but I was like, "I don't feel ready for this." Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. Don't pass him to the mum, and then you, like, you know? yeah. but you know, like how everyone ultimately everyone has like a there's like slight things that people do differently or something like that. Yeah. And someone will be like, "Oh, you have to hold a little bit more." Like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and I'll be like, "No, everyone what do I do? Does take it back." Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone does get like that, but like once you do it. Just sort of know. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe soon. I mean, it's not going to be on the internet, so I'd, you'll never know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll probably say, to be fair, I'll probably be like, I held yeah, a yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate um, you. Thank you, guys. You're very close to 2 million subscribers as well. I know. So yeah. if we can somehow press the button. Yeah, if we can it's somehow get everyone to go over to Manny's channel in the description down below and subscribe. Come on, feel free. Mil. Uh also check out the sponsors in the description. And we'll see you guys next week. Yes, yeah, see. Thank you, bro. Same Peace. time again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <We're ready>. Therapy <laughs> sessions. <laughs> I'm gonna get us over the lies down. I can lie down on them. Hi Manny. New studio, we'll put that in there. We'll put that in. But, um, yeah, All right, sweet. peace.